think so oftentimes people don't realize that I became a policeman to serve the community. Uh, one of the things that motivated me to be a policeman was that I saw police brutality. I saw a man getting beat when I was a kid. And it was there that I heard, it was like I heard God speak to me and say, you're going to be a policeman when you grow up, and you're going to serve your community, and you're going to treat them the way they're supposed to be treated. And so God blessed me to do just that, and I was always working to serve community because I see police officers as servant. I am a servant. And you just serve. You give, you know, where people need you. You go and you assist to make life better for them. And so that's how I've advocated. That's what I do. Uh, you know, when police are wrong, uh, we're wrong. All right? right. And when uh, police are right, we're right. All right. But you need individuals who honestly uh, judge a matter, uh, you know, without trying to, figure out how to be against, you know, I'm just this guy who says I cannot afford to be against you or be against our police department, but I can be against wrong. Mm -hmm. All right. I can be against wrong on wherever it's at. And so that's how I tend to move in life. Uh, You know, I don't know if our audience knows this, but I'm a daughter of a um, Chicago police officer. He died young. I'm not in service, but my uncle Um, was a police officer, my dad's brother. And then my youngest brother, John, um, was a police officer. So I grew up around around, police. So that's the reason I'm a little, you know, I have no fear (laughs) sometimes because, you know, I I knew my dad tried to do the right thing. And that's the reason he wanted to be in law enforcement. The same with my brother and my uncle. I think my uncle retired um, Chicago. PD. Chicago PD? Chicago mm. PD. Yeah, I know that was tough. Hey, yeah. 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 But that's the thing, you know, I think Colvin so often times. Yeah. Sometimes I think so often times we don't realize uh that the young men and women who are police officers, uh, they really do lay it on the line. Yeah. Every and day. They do a lot of good work. All right. And we get sidetracked by some of the negative individuals that are out here doing things that are wrong. And I tell people, you got bad people in everything, all right? Every industry. Uh, I'm a preacher. You got some bad guys <laughs> in preaching. I'm a man. You got some bad <laughs> men, all right? Uh, you know, but I've learned and I've worked with so many awesome young men and women in the police right. department. Uh, no one talks about uh, Officer Redmond when he went and bought the old lady air condition. Right. You know, you make a call and sh- her air is out, and all of a sudden we get a call to routine, and he's taking up money from us, you know, to go out here and purchase this lady in air condition. Right. You know, those kind of stories are taking place every day. And you don't see those. And immediate. you don't see those Mm-mm. stories because police officers ain't out there, you know, blowing their horn about all the good things they're doing. Right. The groceries they are buying, the pampers they are buying, uh, the children that they adopt. All right. The, you know, the young men that they help move through school and athletics, uh, that kind of thing. They, we don't they don't toot their horn about that, but that's what they do. I was blessed to just really do great ministry. And I would tell preachers, they would ask me, <laughs> how are you going to preach and be a policeman? I said, easy. I said, they both go together. You know, they go both go together. And uh, the police department gave me a platform to really do great ministry, right. right? to really go out and help people and make lives better for a lot of people. You so, know? so Chairman, um, Chief Davis has been here. Is, is it going on year two? Has it been two years? Two years. Two years? Yeah. She's had a, a tough row to she, hoe, as they say in the country. <laughs> she, she, she did. Yeah. Yes, she has. She I, has. But I think she's doing well. Yes. She's, she's had a lot of challenges. Um, you know, of course, the very high-profile Tyree Nichols incident. Um, I thought she handled it well. I think national media, even attorney Ben Crump, who's been in the studio, we've interviewed him before, um, thought she handled it well. Um, You know, she's just one individual. How many police officers does she have working for? (laughs) Uh, Almost 23, 23. Yeah, 300. So what what do you think about the job she's doing? I think she's done a, a, a good job, all right? I think uh, coming into our city, uh, she's worked to move the police department ahead. Uh, 